Now, this comes as the bill heads the committee stage at the National Assembly Tuesday next week, where members will debate and vote on all the clauses of the bill, one after the other. Now, on to matter security. At least 10 General Service Unit officers were Sunday injured when an armored personnel carrier vehicle they were in ran over an improvised explosive device. The device is suspected to be planted, was planted by the, on the road by Al Shabaab militants at Mlima Wafaru between Pandanguo and Witu in Lamu County. <laughs> More than 10 GSU officers were aboard the vehicle and were in their routine patrol within the Pandango Road, which borders the vast Boni Forest where multi-agent security operation is ongoing to flush out militants believed to be hiding inside the dense Boni Forest. Lamu West Deputy County Commissioner Gabriel Kioni said the affected officers are from Pandangu GSU camp and were on their normal patrol in the area when the vehicle ran over IED explosive. It is after the incident when militants came out of the forest and tried to attack the officers after the vehicle rolled and exchange of fire ensued for some time. A team of KDF soldiers and special operation unit arrived for reinforcement and were also ambushed but managed to contain the situation. The Sunday morning attack comes a fourth night after Interior Cabinet Secretary Kizure Kindeki visited Lam for a three-day tour to assess the security situation in the county. The Sunday attack comes in the wake of the marking of nine years since the terrorists attacked Mpeketoni and surrounding areas, killing 90 people and displacing many. Michael Mondiga for Sunday Express.